Hey everybody, it's Thomas from Amplified Parts. Whether you're replacing a worn out set of tubes or want to try a different brand, there are a few things you'll want to verify before installing the new set. Some amplifiers, such as cathode bias amps, are generally good to go without any adjustments, but many amplifiers have a fixed bias. These amps require bias adjustment for the tubes to operate properly. This video will take you through the process of biasing this type of amp. To bias an amp, you will need a few tools. If you need any of the parts or tools required, check the description for links to everything we use in this video. First, you will need a match set of power tubes. We recommend a set of Apex match tubes. You will need a bias meter and probes along with a multimeter, a speaker cable, a dummy load, in our case we are using a normal speaker, and some basic screwdrivers. We are also using this parts tray from Dunlop. This has a magnet at the bottom and it makes keeping track of your hardware a breeze. First, we will start by disassembling the amp to gain access to the internal circuitry. Before starting this process, ensure that your amp is turned off and unplugged. If you have recently played the amp, please allow plenty of time for the tubes to cool down before starting. During disassembly, stay clear of exposed circuitry as electrolytic capacitors can hold a charge long after the amp has been turned off and unplugged. Once this is complete, remove the power tubes in your amp. Now you can plug in your bias probes to power the tube sockets and plug in the tubes that you want to bias. In this case, we're replacing the old tubes with a new Apex Match set of burned-in JJ tubes. Apex matching is a complex, multi-step process designed to ensure that you get the highest quality match tubes available. Apex performs extensive testing and analysis on each tube that runs through their system to provide an incredibly accurate and precision matched tube set. Now it is time to connect the probes to your bias meter. We are using the Tube Amp Doctor bias meter. The bias master allows you to monitor the bias current safely and easily. Once this is complete, you will need to connect your multimeter to the plate of one of the power tubes. For most octal tubes, this is going to be pin 3. If you do not see your tubes on this list, please check your amp schematic or the tube data sheet. The negative probe on your multimeter should be connected to the ground. In many cases, you can just clip it to the chassis of the amp. Turn on your multimeter and set it to DC voltage. Now, connect your amp to the dummy load. In this case, just a normal speaker will do. Plug in and turn on your amp. When the amp is in standby, you will not see any voltage on the plates, but the tubes will begin to warm up. Once the tubes are warm, you can switch standby off, and the plate voltage will be present. Now head to AmplifiedParts.com and scroll to locate the tech articles. From there, select Biasing Tube Amplifier Calculator, and input your plate voltage and select the output tubes you are using. This will provide you with various bias points. We are going with 70% bias point as that is typically considered standard. If you aren't sure, 70% is a good place to start. As you can see, the calculator is calling for us to bias our amp at 36.53 milliamps. Now it is time to locate the trimming pot on your amp. Use a screwdriver to carefully adjust the pot until you reach the desired bias point. Please use extreme caution and remember, there is live current running throughout the amp. The one hand rule is a good practice for this situation. As the bias current increases or decreases, the plate voltage will change. If there is a dramatic change in plate voltage, it is a good idea to go back to the calculator and recalculate your bias point for your new voltage. This is what it looks like on the scope. Once 
Once you have your bias set, turn off and unplug your amp. Allow plenty of time for the tubes to cool before removing them. Once tubes are cool to the touch, you can remove them and take off the bias probes, taking care to replace the power tube in the same position that they were removed from. Once your tubes are back in place, it is time to put the amp back together. Check the description for links to all the tools we used in this project. We also have an article you can find below with more detailed written instructions. If you are looking to explore the nitty gritty details of guitars and amplifiers, be sure to check out our other tech articles. Now we are ready to rock. Thanks for watching How to Bias Your Tube Amp by Amplified Parts. A link to everything in this video can be found below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more guitar and amp repair tips. And as always, stop by AmplifiedParts.com to get everything you need to build your tone.